Hello and welcome. I'm checking out course three of the Krakenberg series. I switched up the bike um, just for something a little fresh. Got the Gas Gas EC250F. Um, I've done a few laps already just to familiarize myself because I do want to get closer to Resolute Kraken's suggested time, which is about 10 minutes for this. As you can see, I do have a ghost that I can beat. I think the ghost is around like 14 minutes or something. Sorry, focus is going to be real for this one. Alright. So this downhill is pretty rough. Oh man. Oh, we made it. That was the first time I haven't crashed on that, honestly. Okay. So far, so good. I did see one tip, which was uh, like second or third gear and lean back while sitting to get up the uphills. And that it does work really well um, when it comes to these like longer, smooth uphills. I'll try to show it off up here soon. But I do appreciate the tip. I did also find out how to push the bike forward and back. That was probably just me being dumb on my part. Okay, so for here, oh, I kind of missed it. Yeah, if you kind of sit back while leaning back, it's really easy to get up those hills. It would have been even easier if I got a better run at it, but at least I didn't go down. Also, another thing, too, is if you're hitting the rear brake down a hill and then your clutch sets in, tap the gas again. So it releases the clutch and that'll help a lot with coasting down hills. So there are just a couple of the tips that I've kind of learned and came across. Again, thanks from the comments. Alright. So far I'm doing fairly well, I'm pretty surprised. I really didn't want to look like a goon for this one. Okay. Oh no. Oh. Oh, dang it. We're doing really well up until that point. But that's alright. Okay. Again, use let the engine do the braking. Get over that log there. Oh, get a little sketch, but that's okay. Take a little breather before we head back down in this. This course, I think, in my opinion, oh dang, that was lame. Um, it's probably the easiest out of all of them, but it is also the tightest, I think, with these little like switchbacks and stuff on the side of the, the mountain. Oop, man. Alright. Okay, nice and easy.
All right. Get a little flat out section before we gotta go up this uphill. Again, really tight and narrow. The biggest tip though, overall, that I've figured out is just be as smooth as possible and really feather that throttle. Let's see if I can correct that just a touch. All right, you're good through that section. Get a little air there. All right. Sketch. Ah, dang. We'll reset there and conveniently back up now that I know how to do that. Alright, there's like a hard to see log there. Ah, dang. Okay, that was a pretty good reset. Again, just trying to be nice and smooth. Yeah, I really want to get close to that 10 minute mark. Okay, again, take another little breather real quick. On these more relaxing roads. Alright. Now, this part up here is a little confusing just because after you go through this marker right here, it kind of looks like, oh dang, I didn't mean to hit that tree. It kind of makes it look like you go straight up there, but actually you turn and go this way. I got confused the first time I did it. Alright, and then we gotta make it up this hill. So when it's a little bumpier like that, I kinda like standing up and then leaning back a smidge. And if I start to slow down, then I lean forward and feather the throttle the rest of the way up. It seems to work pretty well. Oh, I forgot that that's a right there. Okay. I just imitated that guy. He was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I was like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. But it's easy to get a pretty sketch, honestly. All right. Make it over that log. Make it over those two logs there. This is a slightly bigger log. But we made it over pretty well. Bunch of these quick uh, like switchbacks. All right, another log, but we made that all right. Oh, a little stuck. Push it up just a touch though. Made it up 
there decently well. Not too many issues. Come back to another switch back here. Again, try to stay smooth with the throttle. I like leaning forward. I don't know if there's a better trick to it, but this feels comfortable for me. And we'll split those trees there. Nice, okay. And then definitely make sure once you get to this part that you're you're making it through all the gates. Dang. I don't know if you can hear that, but over the like intercom Africa by Toto's playing right now. Alright. One of those overplayed songs that actually doesn't really get too old, in my opinion. So I've definitely crashed a lot more than I wanted to, but I feel like this is going relatively well. Since you always suck way more when you're uh, actually on camera, or I guess recording. Oh my... Right as I was saying that. Okay. These are pretty quick resets. Alright. And we are almost finished with the uh, course. A couple more corners to go. Get some air there. And just flat out. This is the final corner. Slow down just a smidge so we don't go too wide. Bam. All right. I honestly don't know what I got there. Did I miss a gate or something? I don't know. I'll uh, when rendering, I'll put up the actual time that I got. Maybe I missed a gate, but anyway, that's uh, course number three of the Krakenberg. Hope you enjoyed. And until uh, the next one.